Hey everybody, Justin Watch Movies here. If you guys like ranking videos just like this, consider subscribing to my channel here on YouTube and hitting that bell notification down below so you don't miss a thing. All right guys, it's time to rank all three Pitch Perfect films from worst to best. When Pitch Perfect 1 first came out, I just didn't understand the hype for it. I just did not care for it. It took me many years to really enjoy that film. I saw Pitch Perfect 2 and 3 in theaters. Then I started to enjoy the series a little more and buying them on Blu-rays and checking them out at home and really enjoying these groups of the Bella Bartons as they tour the world and sing at different places and sing with their friends. It was a fun movie. So. Let's rank all these films from worst to best. There's only three of them, so we're going to keep this video fairly short. But anytime that you like this video, make sure to hit that thumbs up button and then subscribe to my channel here on YouTube so you don't miss ranking videos just like this. So let's get this started with the worst film, number three, and that is Pitch Perfect, number three. I thought this film was kind of pointless. It didn't bring anything new to the film besides them touring for the USO and singing for the troops. Everything that was set up in this film felt very convenient and just so that they can write another film. I thought the side storyline with Fat Amy and her father was dumb as can be and it just added a different style that just didn't bring a charm to this movie like Pitch Perfect 1 and 2 did. It felt very different and it just didn't feel like the previous two and it just didn't feel like a fun movie where they all got together and sang and they really enjoyed being with each other. This one just seemed completely different from the other two. And there weren't many good songs in there. I remember watching one and two and thinking that there were some really cool songs and they utilized that mashup style really well. Number three, it just did not work for me. Coming in at number two is Pitch Perfect, the first movie. Like I said, when I first watched this movie, I was like, I don't understand why people like this. I just didn't find it to be funny. I didn't like the music. It took me some years and then watching Pitch Perfect 2 to really kind of understand why people liked it. And I enjoyed it. I think it is a very charming movie. I do think that the jokes really work in here from Fat Amy. I do think that the group is kind of rough at times in the beginning. But they definitely built up that relationship and then at the end of the film the group worked really well and I liked them as a unit. Some of the songs that they sang were really great and I liked that mashup style that they did in this movie. This movie has a diverse cast and I think that each one of them has a different personality and when they get together they definitely do work. So coming at number one, the best Pitch Perfect film and that is left with Pitch Perfect 2. I think this movie has a lot of energy in it. I think it's a lot of fun. We travel a little more, we get to see different bands and we get the new addition of Haley Steinfeld in the movie and she adds a lot to this movie. She's a really good singer. But this movie had a lot of energy in it and that last song, Flashlight, at the end added a lot of energy to it. But I just remember seeing this movie in theaters and then check it out on Blu-ray a couple days ago that this is a lot of fun. It has a lot of energy to it. The songs are really great. It's very charming. They're already established as a group so we don't have to build up that relationship. It's a great starting point for a second movie. And then having the German group playing in there, it's a great battle between them. And it's just about music. It's just about fun, competition, and singing. Not like the third one was where it's about 180 million dollars. It's something completely different. This one was focused on building up the group again, the great music, choreographed dance sequences, and it, overall it was just a lot of fun. So there you guys have it. all three Pitch Perfect films ranked worst to best. Before you guys leave this video, how would you rank all three Pitch Perfect films? Pitch Perfect 3 got a really bad rating and I was hopeful that it would be good, but it wasn't very good and now I can see the Rotten Tomatoes score. But how would you rank all three from worst to best? Leave your list down below. Remember, if you guys like ranking videos just like this, consider subscribing to my channel. We're going to be having a ranking video every month for new releases and previous releases as well. Thank you guys for making 2017 a great year. You guys are the best as always. This is Just Watch Movies and you stay classy YouTube.